Alright guys, welcome today. Today, I'm gonna be doing some resistance. I guess it's technically a tank build, right? I know not a lot of people even care about defense these days, but I think it's like pretty underrated. Right? Like it's pretty useful. Because obviously, you're gonna die less if you have more HP, hopefully. You know, uh, but yeah, right now, I have a full heart enchant. I know it's a little bit weird on my screen. I don't know why, but all the texture didn't load. So, um, <laughs> yeah, all my amulet looks like power amulet, and then, yeah, it's just weird. But I have heart enchant on everything here. I didn't get, I didn't get heart enchant on sunken, mainly because I don't want to, like, disenchant it, right? Which takes like what 10k galleons? That's mad work. And also because something armor and legging is potentially gonna get nerfed, so I'm like, eh, let me just make it more like like this set is more accessible, right? We have 1.3k or well, 1.4 ish k defense increase, right? And since I'm a warlock, I have no vitality, unfortunately. But I do have a vitality account, so we can test that out later, right? But, okay, so, resistant aura, you know, it's the aura that gives us HP, where did I put it? Oh wait, it might be focus, yeah, I, I have it on the warlock, <laughs> for warlocks, it's focus, so right now we have resistant, it should be able to reduce some damage and give us HP, like, it doesn't only give us HP, so, that is good. So let's see, I don't know, but... What happened there? I heard a sound, but... I know that like, the resistance against metal with magma is not that good, so... I mean, let's try it anyways, right? So right now, let's do a... I wanna throw in... A pulsar, right? From range, so... Boom, boom, boom! It did, like, how much? I have no clue. <laughs> it did like 700-ish, yeah, maybe. So 400, yeah, 700-ish HP with one pulsar. Man, pulsar is broken. Actually, actually, with the, I got a trade request. Um, the guy wants a strong scroll for a hard scroll. What is he thinking? Yeah, I was just checking on my meadow account, <laughs> which you guys can see over there. A guy wanted. My strong scroll for a defense scroll. Are you kidding me, dude? Like, hell no, dude. Hell no. Ugh, dude. Okay, I, this guy's messaging me. Let me... Okay. Let me see. Anyways, that was weird. The guy wanted to see what he can offer and whatever. And I'm like, I, I basically have everything, so... <laughs> yeah. Um, Let's use the resistant now. So, if we... Oh, do I not? What button is it? Oh wait, no, it's on my... That's the wrong mode. Then did they do this? Okay, so now we have 3k. Let's try again. Uh, I mean, it's still this... Is this 700 still? I know, like, the aura can reduce damage. Let's try melee hits, right? If I have my metal guy, walk over. And pull out a weapon, which okay, never mind. He doesn't use weapon, cause full mage, right? Anyways, let me unequip some item. I will be right back real quick. All right, we have a vindicator now. Uh, let me move over screen so you guys can see. So let's see, 56 normally, right? Since I'm not a warrior. Now, does it reduce damage if I put on resistance? It doesn't, but it gives us more HP. I thought it would, right? But okay, no mind then, no mind. <clears throat> All right, well, apparently, I mean, I, I had to check the wiki a little bit, but it only scales on your magic, it seems like. Like how heavy your magic is for the HP it gives. So magma isn't the heaviest. I would say metal is the heaviest. So I'll probably just give the gear to my metal account over there and then I'll see you guys over there 
Alright, we're back with, well, all the builds, so let's test out the damage, I, I don't know, actually, we don't really need to test out the damage, but let's try anyways. I don't know if it reduces damage at all, but it's 118 normally, so alright, let's wait for that, yeah, I have an intensity on that build, so we might burn a little bit more maybe. Uh, oh wait, I had an aura on my meadow. There we go. Wait, that's the wrong mode. That's the power mode. Ah. Anyways, here we go. Um. So we have three point six. Holy shit. Wait, three point six from what now? Was that three point six from? That's so much. But let's see. Damage is still the same, so it's fine. I'm just going crazy. I thought resisting would reduce your damage, but we have 3.6 from 2.4, I think. How much is that increase? Oh my lord. That's like almost like a thousand, basically. 1.2, right? But I know I earlier, I used it focus, right? Focus resisting. Oh wait, it wasn't like 1.2, but... It went from 2.3 to... 3.6 so that's 1.3k right oh my lord that's a lot of so i assume you can get the i assume you can get the same with iron leg if not higher so i might try that later or actually we can switch over to the berserker file and then try out there but for now yeah that's crazy yeah, 1.3k with heavy magic, so if we can get like a paladin, right, with enough aura or enough magic, you can actually get up to 4k, right? So that's a lot, but I sadly just don't have a paladin that has like metal magic, right? Or a berserker, or juggernaut, yeah, uh, like the HP builds basically. Nobody uses though, but <laughs> yeah. Let me go over to my berserk file to show you guys the melee form, yeah, you know, for the HP and stuff. Ah, shit! I don't have iron leg yet, so it means I have to get berserker. <laughs> well, berserker. I mean, iron leg on my berserker. So yeah, I have to travel super far. <sighs> I'll see you guys there, I guess. Ah, <sighs> alrighty. Got my iron leg. Now I just gotta upgrade it. Ugh. All right. Finally, we got our focus right for our iron leg that I just learned for this video. <laughs> so we can tense out how much defense it gives. It's kind of loud right now. Actually, let's just lower the volume of my computer. Let's just do this. Okay. So you can see that I have 2.3k right now. Now if we activate focus. Oh. It's like the same amount as metal magic. So it's exactly the same. It doesn't change. Iron leg is basically metal magic, but like for melee, right? So that's really good though. Yeah, I don't know. I mean I don't I can't complain about it. Like that's great. I just don't know how it's gonna go for like my vitality build maybe. My vitality build might be the same, right? Because it has like... Yeah, it doesn't have the aura to give myself like a thousand HP or whatever, right? So... Let's just find out. Uh-huh. Gonna go do my vitality build. I'll see you guys there after I kill these guys. Ugh. Get away from me! Alright, well, I got all my gear just now. Just gotta replace them. But... I have originally 1.8k HP on my max vitality, right? But we do get a little bit less, right? I think if we had... Okay, so... If we had Metal Aura, it give us 1.3k, right? And we add that to... Maybe like... I don't know how much vitality. Because we'll obviously have lower vitality. Because right now, I don't think we can make aura magic. Yeah, you need like 150 to have aura. So... 
I have to remove 50 vitality if I do want aura just to get more HP like or 4k HP right or near 4k HP but right now it's just not possible yeah I guess like if you want the best HP having like metal magic and like aura on would give you the most but if you go on a vitality build and, and like a paladin or something you won't get as much which is kind of I mean you would get as much if you have aura on paladin but this is just kind of weird but HP can be pretty good right you can tank so many pulsar with 3k HP bro oh my god <laughs> Like, let's see, we can probably tank like 3, 4 Pulsars. Can we even get away while... We... I don't know, maybe it will take a long time to kill you basically. So, yeah, I mean, it's not bad. Resisting defense is kind of underrated though. But you definitely don't need 3k HP, not right now at least. But yeah, I'll see you guys in another time.